Star Trek 3, The Search for More Money. Just kidding, it's Star Trek 3, The Search for Spock. Well, what can I say about this movie? Um, it's good. It's it's a good movie. It's, uh, it's a decent Star Trek movie. Uh, unfortunately, being released right after The Wrath of Khan, it pales by comparison. Well, let's see. <clears throat> a few things that changed. Um, I noticed they changed the lighting on the uh, bridge set. Um, because if you watch Star Trek II, the bridge is like a, a tan, kind of warm earth tone type color scheme. When you get to Star Trek three, it's gray. I mean, everything is gray, very cold uh, looking, cold feeling. And um, that might have been done intentionally uh, to kind of uh, <laughs> underscore the uh, emptiness that Kirk's feeling without his... Uh, former first officer. Let's see, uh, got a very, very small cameo by, um, uh, Phil Morris, I believe is his name, uh, Greg Morris's son, um, from the original, um, Mission Impossible, uh, but, but of course the, uh, you know, probably the best Best thing about it is Christopher Lloyd has a Klingon. He's not going back to the future in this one. Not yet, Marty. So, um, uh, he's really good in it. Um, the story is decent. Um, you know, uh, the Star Trek Three is probably the first Star Trek movie I remember seeing uh, trailers for on TV. I would have been about uh, nine years old, I guess. And, um, you know, the destruction of the Enterprise was supposed to be a surprise uh, until Taco Bell got a hold of of the footage to uh, and used it to uh, advertise their glasses that were actually glass, by the way. Um, not like today when they charge you with an exorbitant amount for something and you get a plastic cup. But anyway, uh, yeah. So, oh, uh, let's see. We also see, uh, Mark Leonard for the first time since the original series, uh, episode, um, Journey to Babel reprising his role as Sarek. Uh, now, we saw him in the, uh, briefly in the, um, motion picture as the, uh, uh, Klingon captain, uh, but this is the, the second time he would play Sarek of Vulcan, so, anyway, a, a, a decent movie, yeah, pretty good, pretty good, so, uh, that's my review of that one, and we'll, uh, go on next to Star Trek Four.